Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is third part of the series AI agent. It's a continuation video. If you missed on the first two videos, please check those uh, where I have covered the initial understanding or uh, uh, what exactly the AI agents is and how you set up your environment. All that stuff I have covered in this section. We'll specifically cover about AI agent builder, how to build your AI agent. So this specifically is on Odin platform. So Automation Anywhere has a tie up with Odin and they have implemented or they are using Odin's AI platform. So one, one part is AI agent studio that, uh, that you are, you might be aware, uh, in over there, you can connect your models. You can build your AI skills, right? All that stuff you can do. And this is altogether a different a platform which is built on top of Odin or Odin platform. As you can see my screen here, I am into one of the project and uh, this AI agent name you're seeing because this, that's my project name. Okay. Uh, let me click on view all projects. And remember in my last video, I have, sh I have shown you how to create a project here. So this is test project that we created, um, in our last session. So I'll, I'll click on AI agent. This is one of the project that I have created. As soon as you click on project, all your settings get applied to that project. So this, all the, um, menu options, right. Uh, that you see, and that applies to this project that the scope of all these is within this, uh, AI agent. We have chat option. We have, uh, I have covered all these, uh, the overview of all these options, right. But today we are going to deep dive into agents. So if you see, if you click on agents tab, you see option to create an agent, you see an option where all the def default agents are already available for you to consume. So for example, these are something templates that are already available for you to use. So these default agents, right? Uh, default agents are available for you to use directly or in uh, directly without building your own custom agent. So here you will not be able to modify them because they are, they have been developed by someone else and published uh, for, for usage. They are available just to consume. Okay. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to see the process of creating a custom agent. So I will, I will create a custom agent by clicking on this option here. And as you can see, you get the interface to create, to build your agent, right? It's similar to creating a bot in a360. You got an agent with a untitled um, name. Uh, I can update the name. Let me update the name here, RPF feed and uh, the personality of your agent, the type of your agent, the model that you AI model that you want to use all that you can specify here. Um, if I click on personality here, you can define your personality that you want your agent to behave in. Like you can, you, for example, you are an helpful assistant. You can write here, you are an expert in so-and-so field. I want you to act as a expert into automation and AI field or something like that. Whatever you feel like, I mean, whatever your use case is for creating this agent and you want the personality of this agent uh, with respect to that, you can write here the description and then you can choose from the creativity level, right? Uh, I have, I have kept it as a balanced. So neither on the higher side or neither on the lower side. So I've balanced it out. I'm keeping it all default. Now, when you go to agent type, it gives you option to select whether it's a chatbot agent or it's a plan and react agent or a SQL agent, right? If you, uh, I don't have a setup for uh, the other two. I'll go with chat agent. Then we have AI model to choose from. So whenever you get queries, you get, um, chat, chat responses, like whenever you get prompts to your agent, how it should respond, what model it should use. So all the models are available here with the credits. If you use this model, it, it needs one credit. It need, uh, if you use O1 mini, which is the latest uh, model from open AI, it needs 10 credits. So according to, uh, your need and the credit limit, you can probably configure your AI model that you want to use. Well, I'll keep it uh, mini 4 mini, uh, as it consumes one credit just for this demo purpose. You want to go for a custom model, right? So you can add your own custom model. That model will be based on these mo model providers. So if I build something which is a custom model and you want to use that, then probably you can choose from here. This is the option 
where you can configure your custom model and then we have knowledge base so knowledge base is something like include all the resources in knowledge base knowledge base is a as an option here so you can configure the knowledge base here so your agent will refer whatever data you have fed, you have fed to this knowledge base database um so for now i'll keep it as um, default because i want to cover that when i'm covering this knowledge base piece so let's let's keep it as is so let's say this is this is how we have configured our agent now what is the purpose of this agent so for example i want to build something to look on shopify or i want to do something on salesforce so i have those connectors available so at the moment these are the only connectors that are available in in this version so if you want to use salesforce let let's say so uh, i can click on this icon and create new connection i don't have any instance to show you here for the salesforce so i'll not proceed with that option um if i say dal e image generation if i click here i'll delete this salesforce and i'll keep this dal e and if you click here the plus icon you again get those options to add uh, the actions from the list of available actions you can add those i'll save the agent as soon as you save uh, uh, whatever you configured it, it got saved and if you go back it will be available as uh, as a part of custom agent so i need to make it default in order to use it so in the in this version i can only make one particular agent as a default whether it's custom agent or any of the default agent now how to use that so this is the this is our ai agent that we have built so in a very low code kind of a platform now you got an option to build your own ai agents ai agents are nothing but a small snippets or a small piece of configurational code that you want to execute or you can imagine it as a your a360 bot a component that's that you want to build right for doing certain task for example you build a bot to open a config file read data from config file and close that config file that's your one unit of work so similar to that ai agent will fetch you data from some system do some decision making whatever you configure in that as per the available options so this is how ai agents you can build your ai agents and call them either you can consume them via public website or via your bots all that options we'll see in the next video so guys if you want me to create more videos and continue this series please comment down below want more if i get more engagement and more likes and more reach to the videos i'll take those effort and we'll try to create use cases as well um because i mean you have to consider guys that it takes a lot of effort and energy and time to create the content and if there are not enough interested viewers then it does not make sense to uh, go that extra mile and create um that content right so i'm i'm just uh, waiting for your responses your feedback on these if you are really interested in learning these concepts and want me to create videos i'll definitely do that on this topic and thank you so much for your support please share uh, share this video like like it and subscribe to the channel in case you haven't thank you so much we'll see you in the next